Inside your indicator quick list, if you scroll down this list, you'll find some different indicators that are going to have the letter F at the very beginning of it. The letter F represents that these are custom formulas. And if you scroll down in this section, you'll find a group of indicators that begin with MS11. And inside of this group, you're going to find two different types of stops that were included in version 11. The first one's called a chandelier stop, and the second one is called an IntelliStop. I think both of these stops are good stops because they automatically adjust based on volatility. And if you're not sure how to use them, make sure and take a look at some of our other instructional videos. But even with those two different types of stops included in your version, I still get other requests for just a plain old fixed percentage stop. So what I did is I actually created one that one that you can actually download and have. It's called the LMS Trailing Stop Fixed Percent. And once you download it from our website, you'll find it in your quick list and you can drag it directly on top of your price chart. This is going to then bring up a properties dialog that will allow you to set the percentage stops that you want to use. So for example, let's just say that I'm trading to the long side and I want to set a trailing stop of say 5% on there and I want to see that plotted. So I'll change the first number to 5 and then down here in this third box here you'll see that it says plot long stop or two short stop. This just allows you to specify what type of stop that you want to see plotted on your chart. Since I'm going to be trading to the long side I'll make sure that I have a 1 in this third box. Click on OK and that'll plot the stop on my price chart. Now let me go ahead and zoom in on a little section here of our chart. Now this particular stop is actually trading to the long side so if the prices are moving up and we have a trailing long stop that trailing stop will actually ratchet up with the price movement and it'll shadow the bottom of the price bars by the percent that you set which in this case is five percent now what will happen as the trade kind of unfolds if the price is correct far enough or trade below the level of that stop that's when you'd actually exit the trade based on the stop and then the stop will be recalculated from that point going forward if you want to see what a trailing stop would look like and you're trading to the short side, just double click directly on the indicator, set your trailing stop to the percent level that you want to see, and then in this third box just change that to a number two. So we'll click on OK, and now we've got a trailing stop being plotted above the price bars. And here as the prices move downward, you'll see that the stop will also ratchet downward, and then at the point where the price is actually correct or actually trade through that level, that's where your stop would be hit and then of course it would be recalculated from that point going forward. So if you'd like to have a copy of this indicator just go up to our website. The website is located up at www.learnmetastock.com and the formula is going to be located inside the video library. In order to access the files you'll need to be logged into the site. If you're already a member just go ahead and log in and go straight to the video library. But if you're not a member, you can sign up for a free subscription by just scrolling down on this page here to the bottom, and then just click on the Sign Up button underneath the Free section here. And once you have your account set up, just go to the Video Library, and then scroll down this page down to the section of videos which are called the How To Videos. And the first video in this section is called the Trailing Stop Fixed Percentage. Click on the Watch Now button. And over here on the right hand side you can click on this orange button which will allow you to download the formula directly into your Metasoc program whether you're running version 11 or version 12. If you have any problems getting it installed you can then see the text version of the formula and you can install it yourself into the indicator builder. So I hope you find that helpful and if you have any questions make sure and just drop us an email at admin at learnmetastock.com.